Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 20 of Darwell 20s. <laughs> Let's play Ocean Block series. You know it's my favorite episode, what can I say? Uh, hey, my refined storage system is using a lot more power than my solar panels are capable of producing. Dun dun dun. So I'm currently surviving almost exclusively on tick accelerating my solar gen. It's about time we do something about that. So today's episode will be dedicated to more power generation. You can see I've rearranged a few things between episodes. I got rid of the whole fluid extractor, disillusion chamber latex making stuff. Um, I just took it down. That's all I did. Uh, I set up a bunch of crafters on top of a lot of the mechanism machines that we're going to have. Uh, I've got a lot of this going. Uh, I got all my standard, you know, stuff here. I made myself an extra 16K storage disk. Uh, I've got my golden crafter set up down here. So I also got rid of the, um, the campfire and the glass jars that were here. So all in all, been a little bit busy between episodes. Just cleaning up and organizing. That's all I've really been doing is just tidying up the area, right? Like we don't need these things no more in here, right? We probably don't even need this guy no more. Yeah. Yeah. Should be cool. Um... I should really be sieving some sand, but meh, we'll get, well, I have to do some automation with this stuff, because clearly this is a whole mess over here. Um, but priority one, more power. Um, what I'm, if you look in JI, you can see I have already started deciding what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do the old mechanism methylene process. Does that sound cool? Uh, so we'll get a gas burning generator. Uh, so in order to get that, we're going to need to get some ethylene in a pressurized reaction chamber. That's one of these bad boys. Ethylene's going to require biofuel, which can be made with all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, we'll probably something, something biofuel. Hoppers or bonsais or something like that. We'll pick, uh, we'll pick a particular plant. Let's see. Ooh, cookie, that's cool. Crimson Roots is five. Tulips. Let's find something that's like higher than five, but is easy to grow. Uh, would be cool. Is there anything good in here? Nothing's jumping out at me. Dried kelp block. Meh. Kelp's pretty fast, isn't it? Yeah, but blocks... Yeah, it's not going to be great. What do you look like in the... I want to find something that grows quickly. Something that grows really quickly. You know, we'll see. Let me let me figure out what I'm going to grow. Uh, you know, quickly. Let's see. Poppies will be a minute. Yeah, I have to figure out something. But the plan is uh, we're going to want a bunch of biofuel. We're going to do the water. We're going to do the electrolytic separator to get uh, the hydrogen that we need for ethylene. So it's water and hydrogen and biofuel leads to ethylene, which we can then um, use to power uh, our stuff. Now, I'd forget if ethylene needs to be turned into liquid ethylene in order to be burned up in the reactor. I kind of forget uh, what the gas burning generator uses to generate power. Is it ethylene or is it liquid ethylene? I always forget. I always mix them up. But, eh, we'll figure it out. Either way, uh, it's nighttime, uh, so we're not getting any power at all. Uh, and we also have to tick accelerate in order to get some semblance of power. So we better get to work so that we can no longer rely on the sun exclusively for power. Cool? And tick accelerating, obviously, which is a big, which is a big power power user maker thingy now i do have the the lava thing but lava i mean even when we first started we weren't producing lava fast enough to keep my magma gen going and this thing only does 70 rf a tick so it's not much it would help but it wouldn't be enough so let's get uh our stuff going right so in order to make you what i think i should do is teach you guys some recipes uh so first off like i'd like you to know this oh we're low on patterns again are we still low on redstone we might be we might be. Oh, we're missing some sand, too. I should do something about that. That should be cool. Uh, do I have my hammer? I do. What I might do is just reverse this thing. That'll be good. You can see I rearranged a few things down here. Hey, 
There you go. It doesn't have to be perfect. Having the magnet, though, makes things a lot better. Alright, so that's pretty cool. And that should all be sand now. Which can all be put away. And you know what I'm probably going to go? I'm going to go throw some sand in the sieve down here so we can get some more, uh, some more of this stuff. Prosperity shards. Cool. So you sieve up a bunch of sand, and now you're good. And then we can get ten patterns. So redstone I'm still a little bit low on. We might need to amp up the redstone production. We'll see. We'll see. But you can see auto-crafting is happening. The way this all works is we've got some item conduits going in the back here. So once you're done uh, smelting up your glass, they route their way directly into the interface, which then gets imported into the system, and everything is groovy. Um, and if we're impatient, like I usually am, I can do something like that. And it kicks things into gear. We should get some more upgrades for these things. But now that we've got auto crafting in place, it should get easier and easier uh, to do upgrades. Cool. Uh, so let's see. Gold crafter down at the bottom. That's where the steel casing is going to go. You're going to be this. You're going to be enriched iron. We should teach you how enriched iron is made. What I'm going to do is probably leave that out. Or, hmm, we could do something a little different than we have in the past. Now, let's leave things as is. Let's, 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 let's do this like we have before. Cool. And then enriched iron turns into, and I'm going to again remove that, and then you smelt into steel. So we're going to want to make sure all the things are correct. But you go here. Basic infusing factor. We want to make sure that it's the right infuser. So this is the coal one. So this guy and this guy go here. And then you guys are smeltables. Cool. Not too shabby. And then what else do we need? I want you to know how this is made. So again, we're just going to remove you. Okay. And then you go into the redstone, dude. Sweet. And then uh, let's see. What else might we need here? I probably want you to be known. And this will also go in here. Cool. All right, good deal. Good enough. Let me craft all this stuff that we're going to need. Uh, and we will be right back. All right, making progress. I've got our gas burning generator made. I've now got the pressurized reaction chamber made. So that's you guys. The biofuel needs to be made in a crusher. So do we have any extra crushers? We don't, but I can make one. And I can get myself a couple buckets of lava. I forgot to add crusher to my to-do list and it just occurred to me that I needed that. Uh, and then we're gonna need an electrolytic separator in addition to that. So we'll get there, slowly but surely. All the things are running. Also, it's nighttime. And our power is completely based on the sun, so I'm going to sleep through the night. All right, so I think I've chosen for my crop of choice, potatoes. Potatoes, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Because Botany Pots shows that they have a growth rate of 45 seconds. And uh, they can also be crushered into five biofuel so it's one of the higher biofuel numbers and one of the lower crop growth numbers and i've also chosen to use imperium farmland which is tier four farmland to speed things up even more so now here's my thoughts what i think i'm going to do is disconnect you and i'm going to use the solar panel generator to produce um the 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 power that we're going to want for this now i might uh also want to throw Come on, Chief. What I might also want to do... Oh, you face that way, do you? There you go. What I might also want to do is get some... Uh, another one of those energy cube dudes. Uh, just to see if that works. Uh, so that shouldn't be too hard. 
We might be low on redstone, believe it or not. Uh, told you I was constantly low on redstone. It's alright, we'll solve that problem sooner than later. Slowly but surely, we're producing redstone. I may have to amp that up. We'll find out. Um, but one of those cube dudes should be doable at this point. So you need... Uh, Two of these. I really need to get speed upgrades on those things, right? I would say yes. But having an energy cube going would be cool. Thank you. So that... Um, the purpose of which is to store energy for the making of ethylene during the nighttime. So solar generator, all the other things, right? Um, let's get universal cables. We might need some mechanical pipes. We might need... We're probably out of power again. Yes, no shock there. Hold on. See why we're doing this? There's a reason. Try and get you a little bit of power buffer. All right, so there's your mechanical pipes. We might need the, the pressure tubes. We'll see, we'll see. And we might need a few more basic universal cables. So we'll get, we'll get a little bit more steel cooking and hopefully that's enough power to hold us over. Yeah, tick accelerating this dude really does a nice job. We just don't want to depend on that, right? Like that's not, that's not good. That's bad. That's bad. All around bad. Yeah, we need to we need to upgrade all this stuff. We need we need some speed upgrades, we need the energy upgrades, we need the we need all the things, but like priority one power obviously, priority two, all the upgrades and stuff. Alright, where should we set this up at? I feel like we should do it down by the water, right? Like maybe down there, and then what? run the ethylene power up here or do we want to just have like a three by three of water up in this area i'm not quite sure i my base is a little bit of a mess and i keep saying we're going to fix it and then i keep not fixing it so uh, i don't know let me let me let me clear out a little terrain and we'll be right back all right this seems like as good a place as any to get this up and running, right? I feel like that could be cool. All right, so step one should be the crusher, and we also want the solar panel. And we're also gonna want the energy cube. So let's start with the energy cube producing power and the solar panel right on it. So you're gonna start filling up. Let's give you a little boost just to help, right? Just to get the ball rolling. And then hopefully we'll figure out if that's enough power. Um, So what we need to do is uh, get some water. So we're gonna need a couple buckets. I don't know where my other buckets went, but two for now. Boy, is my inventory full. Boy, is my inventory full, let me tell you. But because we're having problems with inventory, like, of course it's full. All right, you're there with the pump here. Let's see, I'm trying to decide how I want this to work out. Like, if I brought this one layer lower, that could be cool, actually. Right, because we want the water to go up into the electrolytic separator and into the... PRC, right? So both these machines need water. They can come in from the bottom, maybe? So maybe the... I want to see how compact I can make this, right? That's one of my... It's one of my many joys in life. How compact can we make this? So you should dump excess... Uh, of one of these. I think this is probably going to be hydrogen. This is oxygen. So we're going to dump excess oxygen. And side config for water... 
will be input on the bottom for gases I want to output one on the right I think that's correct so then we're gonna have you here and we're gonna have mechanical pipes like that Yes, no wireless transmitter in range because power. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Basic universal cables. Actually, I might want you. What if we did this? That could be cool. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello, machines. How's it going? And then hydrogen's going in there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, I wouldn't mind... Ah, the sounds of silence. So good. All right, now you also need a crusher. Um, so what I might do is stick the crusher on top of you with a universal cable like so. And you, side config, can auto eject to the bottom and input on the top with the botany pot on top of the crusher. Meh. And uh, the farmland in you and the potato in you and you only take 28 seconds to grow so that might be cool oh, look at that not too shabby right that's kind of cool So pressurized reaction chamber and crusher. There you go. Eh? Eh? That could be cool. Uh, now you need to do something with your substrates and you also need to do something with your ethylene. So we're probably gonna want a drawer of some sort. And maybe you can side config items output on the front. Maybe. Auto eject on. Hey, yeah, there you go. Beautiful. Look at that. All right. And then we want a gas burning generator here. Sweet. And uh, that's a win. I would say so. Now, we're, we're going to want to speed all these things up, obviously, and we will. Uh, but for now, this feels like a good start, right? Not bad. Now, the question is, is this enough power from just solar to power these machines as they currently sit? Now, once we throw speed and efficiency upgrades and all that, it's probably going to have an effect. But for now, I think we can at least have an idea, right? What's our... Eh, net lossing, net lossing. So that's, you know, this is just to get the ball rolling then, is what I'm effectively hearing. Is what I'm effectively hearing. Just trying to decide if there's a, if there's a better way, but I think that's pretty, that's pretty compact. Pretty compact, right? It's not bad. Not bad at all. So you're going to start filling up with ethylene then. Uh, we're going to want more universal cables. So let's do this. Let's fill this dude up. Let's pick you up. Shouldn't you be... Uh, oh, maybe you need to be... There you go. Input on the left. Nope. 
energy config input on all sides why you know gas burning generator actually that's a really good question why shouldn't you do that hey yeah the only output from a specific side gas burning generator where does your power come from? Is it like only the bottom or something? It might be only the green side. Okay. Now that should be cool. Now what I'm going to do is... Um, disconnect... This. Wow, that filled up quick. I love it. And let me borrow you. And you will output on the left. There you go. Beautiful. And do me a favor, output on the right for me. Sweet. Just give me a little bit of juice. Just to get um, things up and running over here. Because then what I'm going to do... Is right into here, right? With a couple universal cables. I just need to make a few. So now you should be back online. Sweet. You can get me the universal cables I need. Did I have some? Doesn't matter. Output on the back. And now we're cooking. Look at that. How cool is that? Now will you fit here? Probably not without me breaking these. Or maybe also these. There you go. Boy, is my island a mess. Now on the right, you should be input. Cool. So now you should be inputting to this guy too. Cool. All right. Not too shabby. Now it looks like we're maybe not quite breaking even on ethylene. But what we can easily do is throw some speed upgrades in this dude. Why is your progress 100% yet you don't have any... Explain. Explain. What's up with that? You notice that? Look at that. What's up with that? How come you, uh... Ain't being cool, buddy. Alright, let me also muffle... The gas burning generator. What else is running here? It might be the solar generator. There you go. The sounds of silence. I love it. All right, are you going to be good now? Or are you going to get stuck again? Because that was concerning. I'm not going to lie. I'm depending on you, sir. I'm depending on you for doing the thing. Why are you all of a sudden not accepting items? That's a good question. Can you hopper into a hopper? This worked for like a minute, right? Why did you all of a sudden stop working? Your side config is still input on the top. You still got power. You're still all around happy. Uh, I do want to tick accelerate you, but I'm going to find out in a few seconds what's up. I want to see it. I want to see it grow without tick accelerating first. I feel like it being stuck like that is because it had nowhere to put the items. That's why I'm doing the hopper thing. Yeah. So explain to me why that's necessary. 
I don't understand that. I don't understand why I need to do that. That shouldn't need to be... That shouldn't need to be. Now, the good news is occasionally we get poisonous potatoes, which I think you can crush her. Maybe that was the problem. Maybe we're getting poisonous potatoes and it didn't have an extra spot. That's probably what it is. I think we were occasionally getting a poisonous potato. And because this only has one spot, that was the problem. So you know what we can do to solve that pro? No, that wouldn't solve the problem. No, that wouldn't solve the problem. What would solve the problem? I think what we're doing would solve the problem. I think what we're doing would solve the problem. No, the other one would solve the problem. Can poisonous potatoes not go in here? Can they not be crushered into, they cannot be crushered. There's your problem. Poisonous potatoes cannot be crushered. So that is a little bit of a problem. That's a minor problem. I'm gonna see if there's another, I'm gonna see if there's something else we can make that will be uh, biomass that would be better to use that's going to be a similar time frame uh the reason i liked it was because it was 45 seconds but we're gonna see what we can find that might compete i'll be right back sea pickles will compete sea pickles will compete okay And you need a bucket of water as your soil. Uh, actually, they won't compete because they need a bucket of water as their soil. So I can't use the Inferium. So I lied. They do not compete. Uh, because I can't use the farmland. I can't use the better farmland with sea pickles. Uh, so back to figuring out what to do. I'm going to do wheat seeds. Uh, so the deal with wheat is that uh, it can also make seeds. And it runs at 50 seconds rather than 45. So it's slightly longer, but still pretty good. Still pretty good. And it'll occasionally make seeds, which will be okay. So what I'm gonna do actually, because you're probably gonna get stuck now and again, because you have a chance to make seeds with this. So there's a 5% chance you'll make two wheat. Ugh, that's annoying. Ugh, that's annoying. I'm gonna have to figure this out, cause... Can, is there a hopper upgrade for drawers? I don't think so. Yeah. See, he's... No, he's still running. He's good still. It's only a 5% chance to get the seeds, but it will happen at some point. But the deal is the seeds can... Um, yeah, we're gonna have to figure something out here. You know what I'm gonna do? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this slightly more compact. I'm gonna stick with potatoes. But I'm gonna hopper it from the side. So your job will be to input from the side here. And we'll do this with this with this. Yeah, does that look cool? And then, that looks good to me. And then yes, you will occasionally get poisonous potatoes. And what I'll probably do is into a trash can. The poisonous potatoes, cool. Uh, so what we're going to want is to filter that. So we're probably going to use pipes. Item pipes. Because this is a quick and easy way to filter. Remember you need the logistical sorter to filter with uh, mechanism pipes, right? So we've got poisonous potatoes now. What I'm going to do is steal one of you. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. But we're going to have an upgrade in there. Really? Really? Really, dude? You're killing me, Smalls. Maybe I can do it like this. That should be cool. So right now, you're not going to do it. But you are. That works. We'll filter it on this side. Booyah! Take that. That works. So the trash can will only accept poisoned potatoes. I think that works. 
And if we need to amp this up, we can. But look how much ethylene we're producing. Like, we're in pretty good shape, I would say. I'm going to call this a successful little power production line, right? I call this good. Now, you should probably get a void upgrade at some point and yada, yada, yada. We'll get there. Uh, you're probably just a big eyesore that I don't super need. So I'm going to put you away. Because I don't think that thing's doing all that much. Honestly. I really don't. Yeah, that that should work. I think that's cool. Okay. What do you guys think? You like? Nice and compact? I think so. Yeah, I think it looks good. You know, what is that, a little 3x3-ish three three kind of area? It could honestly be a little bit more compact, uh, actually. You know, we could, uh, we could, if we wanted to, do that, right? Yeah, just a little bit more compact. I think that looks cool. I'm proud of it. I'm pleased. Works for me. And now you'll have a little bit of potato buffer and you'll you'll be good all around. Sweet. All right. Well then, I'm going to call that wrapping up point for the episode because we've now got a pretty good setup going here, right? We've got lots of ethylene coming in. Uh, we've got lots of stuff being produced. Everything's running pretty well, actually. I don't think we need to amp up the speed of anything just yet. I might eventually, but for now I'm going to leave it as is. Now, why you know have power? What did I do? What did I do? Output on the back. You have power. You are outputting out the back. What is your... There you go. Maybe he wasn't placed correctly. That could be. That could be. But now we're back up and running. All right. Donald Toy signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, we are now in a better position with power, which is always nice. Always nice. Uh, we'll come back next episode and continue to tech up. Uh, one of the next things I want to get into is power, because I think with power, we should be able to do some wireless power stuff, like these things. Remember these from Enigmatica series? I want to get these going so that we can get some more going over here. All right. Wrapping up point. Donald Toy signing off. Take it easy.